Well hi there, it's Aid Martin here. Look, I'll just run over how to set up a cron job using cPanel. This won't take long. Now you can see here this is a common version of cPanel. If yours differs slightly in looks and don't worry, the features and commands they're all the same. Now this is the web route and it's quite important because it's the basis for just about all cron jobs. Now we'll click on cron jobs and you can see we are presented with two access modes. One says advanced, but it's really simple anyway. So I'll just show you inside here briefly. I won't spend much time on it, as I want to show you how to set up the standard cron module. Well, you can see how easy this is. The only confusing thing can be the time syntax, but all will become clear shortly. Trust me. Now you can see where to put your cron command line. And uh, don't forget to put an email address to receive your cron information. You know, that may only be cron errors, but sometimes with some hosts you will receive a success emails as well. Okay, let's head over to the standard the cron module. Now this is what makes up the cron command line. Now firstly you have the web root, as we've just mentioned. Now generally this is not a URL, that's something that starts with HTTP, yeah? but there's exceptions as always. So uh, now remember, you can always get this information in cPanel when you log in. Okay, the information is always there on the left-hand side. Now, secondly, we have the operator. Now, this can take many, many forms, so it's always best, and it saves you a lot of time and heartache if you just email your web hosting support and ask them exactly what to use. Okay, they will be well used to cron inquiries. Now remember this as well, when you're sending your email, ask support if the system sends out an email only if there is an error or every time a cron command executes. This way you'll have peace of mind, you know, and not be expecting emails when, when none are being sent. You know, it's a mental torture. Or oh, at the end we, uh, we append the actual directory and file name to the web path. Now that is your full cron job command line. Okay, so if we look at this cron job, okay, this would run only during February, on a Sunday, at 2 a.m. Okay. Now next, you can see this job. We have no specified month, no specified day, and it will run every five minutes. It will also run at 2 a.m. because we have selected 2 a.m. If we just wanted the cron executed every five minutes, then we would have selected every hour. So the next example we'll select say every 10 minutes and only on the third day of the month. Now you can't see it now but I didn't change the hour from 2 a.m. So this cron job is going to run every 10 minutes and at 2 a.m. But it will only run on the third day of every month. Okay. So if we select Tuesday we would have the job running every 10 minutes and at 2 a.m providing it is the third day of the month and it also happens to be a Tuesday. So if we reset everything and we'll select every six hours, well guess what? I know, I don't need to tell you what this is, eh? You've got it already. This cron stuff is simple, isn't it? Okay, have fun. That's uh, Aid Martin signing out. Bye for now.